very happy new year to all my viewers we all have learned division of numbers when we were in smaller classes but when it comes to some competitive exam or if the numbers are bigger that is our divisors and dividends are bigger in that case what if we get any trick and we can solve it within seconds or we get any interesting way yes my friends today i am here with a very interesting method to divide any given number just by drawing dots and lines yes by connecting dots we can get the answer of any numbers which are given for division so what are we waiting for let's start so we all know that to understand any question we need to first learn the concept so let's start with a very simple question and then we will move on to the bigger numbers okay so the first question is 132 divided with number 12 okay so first what we have to do is these are how many numbers we have three numbers 1 3 and 2 therefore we have to make the dots in three columns that is for the first number 1 i'll make one dot This is my first column, so I'm not drawing any column because I don't want to create a confusion out here. Okay, if we'll draw too many lines, then it will be difficult for us to find the answer. Okay, so one dot. This is the first column. You just think it imaginarily. Then three. So if this is our second column, we will take three dots, and for two, we will make two dots. I hope this is clear for everyone. That is, in each column, we have to draw as many numbers that we have, that many dots we have to create. Okay. So this is the first step that we have to do. In the second step, we have this as number twelve. Correct. Now this is where we have to join these dots. So the number here, we will just draw the dots, and for this number, we will join the dots. That is, this is a numerator and this is a denominator. Correct. Numerator we will give as dots, and denominators we will use to draw lines and join these dots. So what? We have to do is the number is twelve. Correct, one, two, twelve. That is one means in the first column I will take one dot, and two means in the second column I will take two dots, and we have to join all these three together. Okay. So if in the first I am taking only one dot, so this dot we will take, and then in the second we have to take two dot. That is these two. So we will join all these three. So first part is over. Okay. One step is over. Then again this step has to be followed. So until here these many dots we have used it. So now what we have to do? Do we have any dots remaining in the first column? No. Now we have only a dot in the second column, correct? So from this we will take one dot, and then we will take two dot in the next column. So this is how we will draw. So diagram you can draw anyhow. Either you can draw like this, or you can draw first this and that. So that depends upon you. Whichever way you want, you can draw. Just the thing is that you have to connect one dot to two dots. Okay? So this is the second step that you have to do. You have to connect all the dots with lines using this method. Next, what you have to do is third step is Now this is our first column, so you have to check in which all columns how many new lines we have drawn. Okay, so in the first, this was a new beginning. This was a new starting, correct? So we have one new beginning over here. In the second, so this is the part of the first one, correct? This is the continuation of the second one. So there is no beginning in these two, but there is a beginning over here, correct? We are beginning a new twelve out here, a new twelve. We are drawing. We are beginning over here. Therefore. In this column also we have what we have number one and in this column do we have any start of number twelve no we have completed out over here correct right? therefore we have only one and one therefore our quotient is what quotient is number eleven remainder how do we write this do we have any dots remaining any dots which we haven't used no we have joined all the dots with the lines correct right? if we don't have any dots that means our remainder is number zero. So I hope you all understood. So the next question it is somewhat different. So I have taken a complicated question, but this question is also different. You can see that our divisor has a zero. So if in case we have a zero, then what we have to do? We will see in this question. Okay. So let's first start drawing the dots. So for one, I draw one dot. Again one, one dot. For four, one, two, three, and four. For three, one, two, three. Again we have four. So one, two, three, and four. And the last one is number two. So we have drawn dots for each number. Now we have to draw the lines for the numbers. Okay, using the divisor, we will draw the lines. So the number is one zero two. So in the previous questions and all, we saw that one two or one three. We had what we did in one column, we took one point, and in the other column, we took two points. And in case of thirteen, we took three points in the other column. But we are having a zero in this case. So what we have to do is this is also simple. In one column, we have to take one dot. Second column, we should leave that column because it is zero. So we should not take any dots from that column. Take next column. Then in the third column, we have to take two dots and we have to join all of them. So let's see how to do it. So one zero two. So one dot in the first column. So this dot zero. Therefore, in the second column, we will not take any dots. And in the third column, we will take two dots. So we can just skip this one. So I'll go like this from top, and then these two dots. So one and two. 
I hope you all understood how we made. We are just skipping zero. Zero means no dots out there. Okay. We will not take any dots in the next column because it comes in the middle. Now in this column, do we have any dots? No. Then in the second, we have one. So again, one zero two. We will take one from this second one. We will leave. That is the next column. We will leave. And in the third column, we will take two dots. So like this, like this, I'll go. I have connected. That is one dot, zero dot, two dots. Okay. Then we have connected it. Next. Again one zero two in this column we don't have any dots therefore we will start from here so one dot zero dot two dots okay so in this two dots in this one dot and we will connect this I'll not take the between one we will leave the between zero okay now in this again we have one dot so one dot in this zero dot and in this we will take two dots okay in the second next column we just left it and we moved on to the third column then in this column we don't have any dots we came over to this column in this we have one dot. Next column, leave it at a zero means no dots, and then we will move on to the third column. That is, in this we have two. Therefore, I will go something like this. You can take it anyhow. There is no issue in taking the lines anyhow. We have to just connect the dots. So this is also connected. Therefore, do we have any dots remaining? No. Therefore, what will be our remainder? Correct. Our remainder will be number zero. So no remainder. It is divisible. Okay. And then how do we write the quotient? For quotient, we have to. Check the starting of one zero two. In this, how many beginnings we have? We have one beginning in the first column. In the second column, we have one beginning only in this also. Right? This is the continuation. In the third column, we have two beginnings in the third column. Therefore, two beginnings. In the fourth column, we have only one beginning. Rest all are continuation of that one zero two. So we have one beginning. Then this is our next column. So in this, do we have any new beginning? No, we don't have any beginning. And in the last one also, we don't have any new beginning. Therefore, quotient is one one two one 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 two one. So, friends, isn't it so simple? See, we just got it by drawing lines and dots. So, like this methods will actually increase your interest in mathematics. So, so let's do one question in which we have remainder. Remainder means we'll have dots remaining. Okay. So, let's do one of the questions. So, the question is one hundred and forty-eight divided by twelve. So, in this case. How we will draw the dots is for one we will draw one dot for four we will draw one two three and four dots and for eight one two three four five six seven and eight correct these are the dots that we have made and now we have to connect the dots how many dots that is one dot to two dots one dot in one column and two dots in the next column so one dot in this two dots in the next column this column is over then one dot in this two dot in this column then one more dot we have in this column so one dot in this and two dots in this. Well, now you can see there are few dots remaining. These four are remaining. We can't use that. Therefore, our remainder is what? Yes, our remainder will be number four. And what will be our quotient? Same method. That is, in this we have one beginning. In this we have one two two beginnings. And in the third column we don't have any beginning. Therefore, our quotient is number twelve. And our remainder is number four. You can divide it and check your answer will be correct. Well. So I hope this method of dividing, drawing dots, and joining the lines was very interesting. So if you like my video, please do like and share. And any doubts, do comment in the comment box below. So please do not forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So until the next video, it's bye from Reena.